to this now. Lisecha Kanyaho, governor of the South African Reserve Bank, indicated that the RAND could strengthen further in the government implements reforms and sound policy. The RAND has already gained 2.5% against the US dollar this year, outperforming many emerging market currencies. In a recent interview at the IMF and World Bank meetings, Kanyoha highlighted, highlighted South Africa's strategies for emerging inflation, addressing energy issues and fostering growth through reforms. Furthermore, he emphasized that monetary policy aims to target inflation while treating the exchange rate as a buffer against shocks. Let's take a listen to some of the key takeaways from that interview. The anchor of monetary policy is the inflation target. So the exchange rate is treated as a shock, shock absorber. There are times when we have got positive terms of trade shocks, and the exchange rate appreciates and we allow it to uh, absorb the shock and during those uh, periods sometimes we would pick up additional foreign exchange because our uh, seen in the integrated policy uh, framework one of the things is <laughs> if the reserves are of uh, are adequate yeah. then you can do this our reserves are not quite seen as uh, adequate so when there is an opportunity that we could move towards adequacy we would do that and then if there is a deviation because the reserves are not adequate we do not throw good money after a uh, bad uh, but we had also we had also learned and uh, we had also learned that that's the first point the second point is for south africa only about 30 percent of the trade in the rent exchange rate takes place onshore the other 70 percent is offshore mm -hmm. so when you think about uh, leaning against the wind and intervening uh, well you know we need people to uh, help us uh, everywhere and so one of the years we one of uh, the days we we woke up there, there had been a spike in the rent and we said what had happened but we turned out that the spike took place for five minutes and it was blamed on mrs watanabe uh, it happened South Africans were sleeping but by the time we woke up the, sp the spike took place and the rent had also recovered so again uh, the currency trades uh, uh, everywhere and we have got a fairly deep foreign exchange uh, uh, market and so when the central bank thinks about leaning the wind leaning against the wind we have got to be cognizant uh, cognizant of